Hi Gemini and welcome to my channel. Welcome to your weekly reading. I have included the dates above in the title. Um, if you were after a private reading with me, all the information that you require is listed below this video or in the About Me section of my YouTube channel. So let's get straight into it and see what's potentially coming up for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus in the upcoming week. Let's see what the theme is, what you're coming up as this week, Gems. Okay. Wow, this is powerful, Gemini. Priestess of Enchantment. Now, she rules the dates of February 18th to March 17th. Um, a lot of blues here, so they could be a uh, water sign. Um, in particular, this uh, does fall on the dates of uh, Pisces. So some of you might be dealing with a Pisces here, you know, the majestic seahorse. Could be a Cancer or a Scorpio here as well. And there's a very enchanting um, energy coming in. But I do believe this is you, Gemini. I feel like you're enchanting a lot of people. Um, very emotionally, okay? Um, you're also possibly even inspiring them. But look, the Priestess of Enchantment does rule recovery, self-care. Yeah, she very much rules the imagination and creativity. Uh, I feel like... Um, there's a certain complexity happening here. Um, she's got the ash tree. Well, she's got a few of them, actually. Um, and the ash tree uh, is worlds within worlds. It's actually cycles of growth, uh, regeneration, and rebirth. So I'm seeing that there's some sort of renewal, okay? Could be like a contract. It could be um, a reunion. It could be a new relationship um, or, or the renewal or revival of a relationship here as well. Uh, it's very much, she very much engages with human emotions, okay? So what I'm seeing here is that there's a very strong emotional connection towards someone. But as I said, it does include recovery, wisdom, and understanding. So you're really coming or collecting uh, more emotions towards someone or understanding a more emotional side to them. Um, it can also be you focusing on yourself, okay, through creativity, drawing, writing, um, nature, whatever you find enchanting will be very, very helpful for you in the upcoming week. I feel like for those that need to be inspired or need to seek um, inspiration, you, you will find it. You will be very inspired and you will find this around you in the upcoming week, okay, uh, especially through emotional experiences, Gemini. Use them as fuel and use them as inspiration for something that you're doing here in the upcoming week. Um, but you're enchanting people. You've got a few cards, one more. You're enchanting, okay? People just want to look at you or, you know, they want to see more of their work. You're engaging in their senses very powerfully here, uh, Gemini. So I don't know what it is that you're doing here, but you're obviously appealing to a lot of people. Okay, two, there we go. Okay, uh, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, not surprised to see him up there, or her up there, I should say. Okay, let's start off, start off with the Six of Swords. Uh, some of you are starting some sort of creative journey or new mental journey. Now, the Six of Swords is all about leaving an unhealthy situation, is about leaving an unhealthy state of mind, is about flying from those, flying away from those dark ravens that are perched on the swords here and being carried away. So what I'm seeing here is that there is a cleansing, okay? For a lot of you, you're actually ridding yourself of a situation here and you're going to self-heal. This is all about self-healing, self-empowerment. And I think this is really, really major for you. In particular, there's a lot to do with your mind here. So your mentality, your spiritual alignment is going um, to come into a very healthy phase in this upcoming week. And it might be with the aid of a water sign around you through empathy, through guidance, through support, or it might be emotional and mental healing here as well for you. Uh, but it's definitely moving away from an unhealthy situation. If you have previously dealt with an air sign or you've dealt with someone that has been has had dark energy around the way they've been communicating to you, Gemini, you are moving away from it. You're just not having any more of it. You, um, you understand how valuable, how precious your time is, self-respect, self-healing, regeneration. And I think this is the focus that you're putting on. Um, this is the emphasis for you. This is where your focus and attention will lie in the upcoming week ahead. Um, you, you are swimming towards the page. I mean, you are flying towards the page of pentacles, which is really good. But this card is always to me that someone is very admired or fixated on you. Now, this could be through career because the pentacles often rule money and uh, lucrative uh, and creative possibilities. 
And there could be someone that has been eyeing you off for a while and it might be an earth sign that finds you very, very enchanting or someone that wants you to work for them or someone that wants to be associated with you. They, I feel like this person is also giving you time. Time because they know you're going through something. Okay, so there's patience coming from this person. They're watching and waiting because they see or they know or they feel, you know, water energy. This is all about intuitive pathways. They feel that you're going through something here and they're taking a back seat, which is nice because they seem to be quite understanding and very, very patient. So you do have someone that's quite patient, someone that's watching and waiting and wanting to approach at the right time. Um, they've been observing you for quite some time here. This could be in the workplace, okay? Someone is observing your skills. They might want to poach you. There could be someone reaching out. The journey here could symbolize you leaving behind a workplace or a creative endeavor for something better. This could also be some of you might be leaving behind a relationship and starting a new one in the upcoming week. Because what do you have here? You've got the two of pentacles as a bit of a juggling act. So if this points to success, I feel like you'll be attracting a lot of admirers, a lot of people. You might have to juggle times for dates and, and um, giving these people time to, to prove themselves or to connect with you properly. It could be this as well. It could also be two different job opportunities that may come up around you in the upcoming week. But back to that page of pentacles, I feel like they, um, if this is you, I feel like you're sitting on a business idea and you're being more and more inspired. You might have to give it a little bit of time, not too much time, but the page of pentacles is more low key about things. It's not someone that gives away too much, but it is about stability at the same time here, which is good because it shows that some of you could be coming into stability in, in creative pursuits either stable money, stable ideas, or finding some sort of consistency or flow that brings you more um, stability in, in the career sense maybe here as well. But look, if this is an earth sign, I feel like this person is very enchanted by you, but for some reason they might not approach you just yet, okay? They're taking their time. It's either they think you're going through something or they think you've got a lot of other people that they'll have to fight up against. So it, they, could, they could feel a little bit threatened by com, um, competing for you. Competing for you to work for them, competing for you to uh, to be romantically involved with you. They might feel like you have too many people around you. Um, they might feel a little bit threatened by the competition here as well uh, with the Page of Pentacles because I don't see this earth. This earth sign is watching, but they're waiting. Okay, there's no approach yet. There's an intention to approach, but it's hard to say if this person will actually come forward. Now, if this is an earth sign, they too could be juggling another relationship, another person or another candidate. So right now, they're, in, they're a little bit indecisive here as well. So the duality could be you, Gemini. You are ruled by the twins, so you do have a dual nature about you. But if this is an earth sign, there could be the notion of this person trying to juggle you and someone else, or you and another person, or two different income streams here as well. So if there is an earth sign that you find is a little bit distracted here, they're very fixated, enchanted by a lot what's happening possibly with career or their personal life. If the Two of Pentacles is you, Gemini, you're performing for someone here, you're trying to make things happen, you're trying to make things happen in a very systematic way, you're trying to attract people, um, you're trying to uh, keep your goals going, keep your social life going, there might be a lot on your plate, okay? It could be a very busy week, but I'm seeing you're trying to juggle your internal with the external. The pentacles are all about the external, the swords is all about communication and our mentality. So I'm seeing that there's um, a healthy business coming up around you in the upcoming week. But I do feel like you might feel like you're a bit on show, okay? You're on display, you're on show, people are watching you, people are testing you. Um, if you're on production or you've got a trial or a, um, something that you have to present in the upcoming week, make sure you get your, your, you know, your mental state right because I think this will definitely help you overcome any nervous energy that may be around you in the upcoming week. But it is a juggling act. Possibly two different income streams, two different clients, two different um, deals, two different jobs, two different people. It's also indecisive energy. Um, but ultimately, I do see you making that goal of knowing where where your strengths are and it, putting your best foot forward here and removing yourself from a very um, negligent situation here as well. Uh, Gemini. So I think that'll be very, very important. But you might be put on a pedestal here. There might be people trying to take advantage, okay, um, trying to get as much as they can from you. So it's important if you need to lift up those barriers and, and put your guard up, then so be it. So 
I will leave it at that though, Gems. Thank you so much for uh, connecting. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Please don't forget to leave behind a like and we shall be connecting very soon. So thanks again and bye for now.